Here we go then. Uh, speed tutorial for the old gates, what do logic and that. Starting with the inverter. Uh, pretty self explanatory. This is your uh, input, that's your output. Uh, this is the inverter in the middle. So, yeah, inputs off, outputs on, inputs on, outputs off. Um, the reason that does that is because the default state of redstone torch is always on. If you power it through a block, uh, it turns off. If you try and power it from the side, it will just power the redstone, so it doesn't work. Uh, super useful for things like hidden doors where the pistons need to be extended in the default state. So uh, that's that one. Um, right then, and gates and all that. Uh, super, super common as well. These ones, everybody should know how to use the old iron gates if you can do a bit of redstone in bread and butter. Uh, yeah, so the idea is both inputs on means the output is on. Uh, any other combination of that, one on, no output none on, no output, etc. So you've got to have both on for the output to work. Um, the reason that is because obviously if you power that it will turn that torch off but this torch will still be on uh, which will stop this torch from, from being on. Uh, so you have to power both to turn both torches off which means that this can now be on. Uh, and then that outputs into whatever you want, door, uh, piston, etc. Norlatch, the old memory cell and that. Um, <sighs> looks a bit like that. Um, just put a reset button on. So, this is your input. Comes into this here, um, which is currently on, because obviously that's its, its default state. By that being on, that powers this block, which turns this torch off. And this torch is your output, uh, which is going into this piston. So what happens when you press the lever down, like that, it swaps over and um, powers the piston. The thing about this is, if you turn off the lever, it will stay in that position. Uh, that's why it's a memory cell, so it's remembered one bit of information that's come in the input and then it's output it here um, which is very very useful uh, in many different applications uh, and then you have the reset which is here so that will reset it so it does exactly the same as what inputting here would do just on the other block um, so yeah you can create all sorts of stuff from that mono uh, stable circuits um, all sorts. Memory arrays, a bit like my clock over there, uses loads of these. Um, yeah. Awesome. A little bit more advanced, the old uh, toggles. Um, toggle switch. So, two holes down in the ground, torch there, torch there redstone on top um, and we'll put a torch in there and that's your output um, this is your input ok so this is a little bit more advanced what it does is it means you can toggle with a button like that instead of using a lever um, obviously it's not just for buttons it can be used in all parts of circuitry. Um, this torch in here, all that does is it just gives this an output. So when the old, when the block swaps over like that and moves over the torch, the torch underneath then powers the block, which then powers the redstone, which is next to it, coming off here like that. Oh, um, yeah, super useful, super useful in sort of binary counter clocks. Um, and all sorts of stuff like that. I'll do some uses for these gates in a bit. <laughs>